catch the ball, Morpho. Oh, wow! That was fast. Now, throw it back. <sighs> Don't you want to play catch, Morpho? Uh, Morpho, no want to play catch. Okay, do you want to draw something? Morpho, no want to draw. So what do you want to do? <gasps> do you want to play hide and seek? Uh, maybe. Okay, start counting. Yeah. Morphle, do you maybe want to hear a story? As the boy walked up to the house, the door opened on its own, and he heard a scary voice. Morphle, no like story. Wow, you're hard to please today, Morphle. Hmm. Shall we take a trip to the beach? That always cheers you up. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Morpho, look out! <laughs> Sorry. Let's build a sink castle, Morpho. Huh? Where are you going, Morpho? Oh, let's go somewhere else. Look at how much fun they're having, Morpho. Hey, Morpho, that's not nice of you. Huh? A popcorn, a delicious a popcorn. You're a hungry little fellow, aren't you? Whoa! Morphle, did you have breakfast this morning? No! Morphle, no one at the breakfast! Morphle wanted to play! So, that's why you've been cranky all this time. You didn't eat anything. Oh. Well, Morphle, dig in. Did that help, Morphle? Are you feeling better now that you've eaten? Mm. Yay! No, Morphle, happy! Morphle, morph into a race car! Look, guys! I have a real race car! Race car, too. Where is it? Right here. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I have a race car, too. Yay, Morpho! We're in first place. But look! Blocking the road! Morpho, morph into a kangaroo! My car could just jump over it! No, it can't! Cars can't just.
just jump over stuff. Well, mine can, because it could grow. Robot leg. My car could grow unicorn wings. Whoa, watch out! It's lava! Morphle! Morph into a rocket ship! My robot race car has super booster rockets! My unicorn race car has a magic horn. It can make magic portals. Let's see how you can keep up with this. Rocket ships can go really, really fast. <sighs> 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 Go back, Marvel. Hey, guys, why didn't you keep up? Marvel is way too fast for us. Hmm. You know what? Why don't you guys join me inside Marvel the rocket ship? We can share. The forest is full of all sorts of different animals. No, no, no. There are no tigers in the forest. They live in the jungle. But there are bees and ants living there, and little bunnies. Like a very big bunny now, Morpho. There are no kangaroos in the forest. They live on the plains of Australia. Wow! Is that a fox? Yes, Sarah. That's a very beautiful little fox. Monkey! No, no, no! There are no monkeys in the forest. You will never see any monkeys here. Look! Monkeys! Oh, these naughty monkeys escaped from the zoo when I told them it was time for their bath. Whew. How will I ever find them here in this forest? Don't worry, Zookeeper Kenneth. I think we can help. A parrot? Ah, that's the first one. A dog? Second one. A crocodile. <laughs> and that's the third. I'm sorry you have to take a bath, but, uh, how about some ice cream when you're clean? <laughs> Monkeys in this forest. <laughs> How about that? I think any animal could be in the forest when Morphal is around. <laughs> we need to build a brand new house here. But first, we need to get rid of the old one. Morphal, morph into a wrecking ball. Okay, Morphle, ready when you are. Okay. 
Okay, robot dump truck, clean up the mess. With this amazing invention that we got from Professor Rashid, building new buildings is easier than ever. <laughs> now we are the construction zapper bandits. After them, Morpho. Wreck the wall! <laughs> Let's zap ourselves some statues. <laughs> You guys are headed to the police station. That kangaroo is so cute! Marvel, morph into a kangaroo too! The kangaroo is one of the bounciest things in the whole world. In fact, we've studied it for our latest invention. The world's bounciest bouncy ball. Look! Wow! What are you going to use it for, Professor Rashid? Use it for? I hadn't thought of that, actually. I guess I usually don't really think ahead. But anyway, it's really cool. Look, it's so bouncy that once you throw it, it's almost impossible to catch. Wow! It is really cool. Toppling test tubes. I didn't think ahead again. How am I going to catch it now? We have to get that ball back. I'll go get my hovercraft. Go after it, Morphle. in my city. Morpho, 
look! That baby bird is falling! We caught you, baby bird! The ball that hit you is the world's bounciest bouncy ball! We are trying to catch it, but it's hard! The ball just keeps bouncing to the next place! Hey, Morphle, that's it! We should think ahead. Then we can predict where the ball is going to bounce to next. Look! First, it will hit that mountain. Then it will pass through those hoops. Then it will go through that loop. And then it will fly high over that mountain top. Here it comes. It hits the mountain, goes through the hoops. Now it goes through the loop. Here it comes! Jump, Morpho! Thank you, Mila and Morpho. Thanks to you, I have learned how important it is to think ahead. Tumbling test tubes. I forgot to fill up the gas tank. <laughs> We are building the tallest building in the whole city. But none of our cranes are tall enough to finish the project. Mila, could you ask Morphle to morph into a big crane? Morphle, morph into the biggest crane in the whole world. Amazing! Thanks a ton, Morphle. This is the greatest building this city has ever seen. I think you did super duper well, Morphle. Now let's go play in the park. Unbelievable! Where did that wind come from all of a sudden? I don't know. It's not windy anymore. <gasps> Look! Thank you. 
much more fun than I thought. Up in my cloud castle, I'm always alone. We're very sorry. We didn't know that we built our skyscraper right through your castle. We will start over and build a new skyscraper somewhere else. I have better plan. I love my cloud castle, but up here I have nobody to play with. For my plan, I need your help. I'm trying to get this flying lion to fly, but it's too scared. Poor thing. Today its new human companion is coming to pick it up, and he was promised a flying lion. <sighs> I've been trying all night. I'm so <sighs> tired. I don't know what to... to not be afraid of flying anymore. Hello? Is there anybody here? I am looking for my flying lion. Oh, I don't want to wake him up. I'll just take the flying lion myself. Ah, here it is. We will show you that it's not scary to fly. Morphle, morph into a hot air balloon. making the lion more scared. Hmm, I have a plan. I think we should stop trying to teach you how to fly for now, lion. Let's play a game instead. Let's play Hot Lava Monster. The game is that you can't touch the floor because that's the lava. Only the lava monster can touch the floor. And he has to catch the other players. Morph into a lava monster, Morphle. some music.
Mila, Morphle, I need your help. I can't find the noise monster. <laughs> Not in my city. Every time the noise monster hears a loud noise, it grows. And if he becomes any bigger, that building he's on will collapse. Morphle! Morph into giant earmuffs! But how do we get them up there? is amazing at flying. We all have to be very quiet or else the noise monster will grow again. Don't worry. I'll get everybody to be quiet. Everybody be quiet! <gasps> Morphle, morph into a toy dinosaur! accidentally dropped this life ray that I was going to present at the National Science Conference. And it zapped your toy dinosaurs to life. But it broke, and I can't zap the dinosaurs back again. Hmm. Mila, can you look after them while I fix my life ray? Of course, Professor Rashid. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun together. Great. I'll be back as soon as I can. Toy dinosaurs, while we wait for the professor to return, let's play a game!
win, but now I'm tired. Yeah, fun. Oh, oh, hungry. Yeah, we should get something to eat. Oh, I know. Let's have a picnic. Yay! Yay! Ah, there we go. That took longer than expected, but it's fixed now. Let's go back to the toy dinosaurs right away. I hope nothing bad has happened while I was gone. Oh, tumbling test tubes! Professor, do you want to join the picnic? We've been having great fun! Thank you, Mila, but I think it's time to zap the dinosaurs back into toys. Steady. Oh! Professor Rashid, I don't think the toy dinosaurs want to go back to being toys. They've been having much more fun as living dinosaurs. Yes, Mila. But the city is no place for dinosaurs. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Zookeeper Kenneth has a place for them. What's this? Are those giant toy dinosaurs? Yeah, Professor Rashid accidentally zapped them with his life ray. Do you have a place for the toy dinosaurs to live, Zookeeper Kenneth? Well, the zoo only has one place for big animals, and the elephants already live there. But... During my travels, I think I spotted an uninhabited island where the toy dinosaurs could live. Let's go there right away, Morphle. There it is! again as well. Bye, Toy Dinosaur!